Well, hello and welcome back. This is Greg French. Uh, today we're going to be uh, discussing operating systems. Uh, this is lesson 2-2 of our computer repair training series. I also want to bring your attention to the ComputerRepairTrainingPlus.com website uh, where we'll have some additional resources for you. Well, let's get started. Unix. Unix is one of the first operating systems we're going to look at. Uh, it has different what we call flavors or distributions. Not as popular anymore since Windows has come around and Linux. Chief uses, uh, controlling networks. We use it a lot uh, on the Internet for, for also uh, as a server. Supports Internet-based applications. Linux now has become very popular. They say over 80% of all the websites on the Internet are running Linux. Why is that? Well, it's very fast, very efficient, and it's not prone to viruses. That's why Google uses it in over 30 of their data centers where they run over 10,000 computers each. They can take Unix and they can modify it and, uh, and configure it for their own use. Plus, they can, can control the code. A lot of advantages. Uh, Unix variation, this was created by Linus Traval, a very talented uh, programmer. Uh, he's still uh, doing quite a bit, uh, modifying the kernel and supporting the, supporting the software today. Open source, uh, meaning it is free. Uh, we get both the kernel and the source code so that we can look at the source code, modify it as we need. Uh, popular distributions, uh, SUSE. Well, this is a Linux uh, version that is very popular in the European area. Uh, we have Red Hat, uh, which is very popular in the United States, and Turbo, which is used mostly in the Asian countries. OS2, now this was jointly developed by IBM and Microsoft. Uh, some time ago. Never got that popular, but it was a very powerful operating system, multi-user, multitasking. Chief used, uh, chief, chiefly used today in certain types of networks. Uh, part of the OS 2 that was incorporated into Windows NT. Mac OS. Introduced in 1984 with Mac computers. Conversion, uh, Mac OS X, which is the uh, Snow Leopard. Uh, noteworthy features. Support for graphics, uh, multimedia capabilities, uh, use of the Finder program. Uh, this provides the desktop. Uh, very good plug-and-play capabilities, and it now supports Intel and multitasking. Very nice uh, operating system, not prone uh, to virus like Windows, and pretty stable. Uh, here's the desktop uh, for the Mac operating system. You can see up at the top it starts off with Apple, Apple menu, and then we get the menu bar, the toolbar, the Finder window, and shortcuts in the docking area. Very similar to Windows, uh, very functional. Uh, what an operating system does, there's four functions. Uh, provides a user interface so that the user can operate the computer. It manages our files and applications, and also it manages the hardware so that the files can be written to the hardware and the video can display information on the screen. All OSs ha have a similar uh, core components. Operating system components, again, Components of all operating systems have a shell and a kernel. The shell is where we have our user interface so that the user can operate the computer. Uh, the kernel is the core of the operating system that runs uh, the hardware, also interfaces with, uh, with any applications. The shell offers uh, user functions. The kernel, again, is the core, interacts with the hardware. Registry, this is a very large database in the operating system. It is used to... Um, keep all of our configuration, all of our settings of both software and hardware. Uh, here's a little, you've probably seen this uh, one before. This shows the user up here at the top. He's running an application. Uh, the application is interfacing with the operating system. We have the shell, which provides that user interface, and then the kernel, which is the core of the operating system. Uh, it's controlling the hardware and it's outputting uh, to our both our video screen and, uh, and possibly a printer. An OS provides a user interface, a very important part of the OS. We have to be able to operate the software, and that's our user interface. Could be a command line, could be graphical. Sequence of events after the PC is turned on, operating system is loaded. The OS provides our interface to our desktop. The OS will wait for the user to provide some kind of an input, which creates an event. Could be a mouse click, could be the keyboard. A user initiates these events in several ways. Mouse, uh, menu, selection. Or we could enter a command at the run uh, dialog or our command uh, prompt. 
double click on an icon. Several different ways of, of getting uh, this interface to begin. Uh, here's just an example of a command line uh, prompt uh, interface where you would actually type in commands at the command, uh, command line prompt. This is a uh, desktop of a uh, Windows Explorer, what's more commonly used today. OS manages files and folders. Uh, the file system organizes our files and folders. Uh, Windows hard drive uh, file system. There are two types. We have the FAT file allocation table and the NTFS, which is our new technology file system. NTFS is preferred by Windows, much faster, much more reliable. Also, it can handle uh, very large files. Hard drive or floppy dr uh, disks uh, file organization. We have a platter. These platters have concentric tracks or circles. Uh, they're divided up into sectors. Each sector is always 512 bytes. A cluster. A cluster is the smallest file storage area made up of sectors. Here's an example of a platter. Uh, you can see there are concentric circles around the platter. These concentric circles are called tracks. Each track is divided, and those tracks are divided into what we call sectors. Files and directories. The file system hierarchy. First, we have the directories. Inside the directories, we can have what's called child directories or subdirectories. And inside those is where we have our files. We have our directory table, lists the subdirectories and the files, uh, root directory, directory for our logical drives. Path. Path gives you information such as the drive, the directory, a subdirectory possibly, a file name, and also the extension. There's an example there. C Windows Doc. Doc would be the subdirectory. And inside that we have my, my files with dot, uh, .doc. Similar to how we arrange things in a file cabinet. File cabinet, uh, the cabinet could be the individual uh, uh, drive. Inside that drive, we could have a couple of uh, drawers. Those drawers would be uh, our directories. Inside of each of the drawer, we could have some subdirectories. Those might be hanging file folders. And inside those folders, we could have individual files or documents. A lot of similarities to the file cabinet. Partitions and logical drives. Two types of partitions. We have a primary and an extended. The primary can only have one logical drive in it. Normally the primary would be drive C. And our extended, we could have more than one logical drive. We could have D, E, F, as many as we need. Logical drive, sometimes called a volume. Uh, sometimes we, we set up volumes and we span over several drives. Formatting uh, using some kind of a file system has root directory, subdirectories. There are file management tools to set these partitions up and also format each one of our logical drives. Windows has its own uh, file management utility. In review, Linux is becoming more and more popular. Probably never take over completely, but uh, who knows, it is growing. Uh, shell and kernel are the two things that compose an operating system. The shell, again, is used for the uh, user interface. The kernel is the core of the operating system. Uh, files and directories, this is how we uh, set up our hard drives. We uh, set up directories inside those. We could have subdirectories and then files. We need organization. If we don't organize, uh, we'll have chaos. Partitions and also logical drives are how we divide up our hard drives. Activities. Uh, I want you to do some research uh, using Google on the Internet. Why is Linux becoming popular? We're going to discuss that. And I want you to also to explain a logical drive. What is it? Uh, lab 2.3, the Mac world. Do some research. Uh, take a look at that lab. Return the review questions. Also, I want you to do some more research on Linux. I want you to do lab 2.4, and there will be some questions to turn on. Well, that's it for now. Thank you very much.